We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the own face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you've got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before say Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot out the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! 1-8-5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 181-79. Where was that Area number supposed to be? Got Only by standing together so shall we overcome somewhere any and all obstacles. The Yamantau Mountain. So the route from here should go... Uh, like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out, the Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, 
That fiend that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! About Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad, I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round that should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's some ideas. distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a kitten, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know. So, dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a Stalkin Otar. When you home those missiles in on the Dark Ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what link is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well, bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. Still, I would like to know what's on the end of your chain. If there's radiation or not, Comrade American, the citizens of Moscow will have to stay put. But why? We're just a short way from the city, and the radiation's gone. Things might have been that easy in your America, but life has never been so easy here. Even now, we woke up saviors of the metro, and by lunchtime, we're enemy spies, saboteurs, tra train thieves, and what for? Something we thought was true turned out to be a lie. That is enough for them to want us dead. The Hansa bosses must have known that we could live up here. But the public didn't know that. Who'd want to stay down in the metro if we told them? We cannot tell them. If they are ready to make mincemeat out of old ladies and kids to keep their secret, what do you think would they do to you, Uncle Sam? Huh? We can't go back. We can't use radio. Remember the jammers? And even if you pull a perfect round ball and break through back into the metro, do you expect they'd all just believe you and go, Yes, Moses, lead us out of this Egypt? Can you even imagine the death toll? Take your average station dwellers. Even if the Hansa guards didn't shoot them, how far would they get? Right to the nearest mutant den, most likely. We are safe here, speeding along on this Eastern Express. They are not as lucky. Not at all. 
there was a proper evacuation. <laughs> and who would do that? Hans's people? The ones that kept us under lock and key for 20 years? Or, or us too? Besides, getting the people out of Moscow is not the end of it. You have to settle them somewhere, provide food. You know, brother, I do get where you're coming from, but this matter is way more complex than it seems. I guess you're right. All this clean air went to my head. So, wait, does this mean the Colonel was in the know? His rank does seem to suggest that. Besides, he led negotiations with Hansa. Where would we be without them after the D6 debacle? They give us weapons and recruits to replenish our losses. We, on the other hand, our competence does not stretch beyond thinking cozy thoughts and keeping the fools in the metro from killing each other off. Remember, if not us, then who? You are too smart for your own good, idiots. Stop me for good after all. 
here I am. But the real railroad. A real engineer. Damn you, I'm sorry I got so emotional there. Oh, it's my fault. I'm really sorry. And thank you for telling me. because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons, cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. Ah, well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any way... Well, hello there, Tom. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Boy, I cleaned that oil a lot. I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. I do feel this calm, you see. Idiot says it's dynamic meditate. Well, help yourself. Frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's winter. <laughs> if only you didn't have to pay for this comfort later, with your whole body aching. Yes, I tried to talk you out of it. 
Yes, I didn't tell you we were not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. I'm not back then. This is a state secret. Do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after our fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. You would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. Goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. 